Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 12th to the 16th of February 2018. As always, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of different markets looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're looking for in the coming week and also weeks ahead. So with that said, I hope you're all having a really nice weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, now last week we had a pullback to the key area of 90.19, is a key area of resistance up here. We were looking for this pullback and we were looking for a pullback. In fact, we did in tr we traded this pullback in some of the other pairs last week. It was a very nice week last week in the live rooms. And we were looking for a pullback into this area, but when we got to here, we were looking for some rejection as a form of broken support turning resistance. And we we're going to start to look for bearish formations and patterns in this area. However, as you can see, we broke through this key area of resistance at the 90.19, and we come back once twice tested as support and so as we start the week above the key area of resistance at 90.19 turn support over here we are going to be looking for a pullback and a retest of broken now resistance turning support once more and if we get this we're going to be looking for a bounce we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking up towards the next key area to the upside next key area resistance to the upside at the 91.02 in the US dollar index as long as we stay above the 90.19 Next, we have oil. Now, last week we had a big sell off in oil and we started to break to the downside. And we go into this week with a breakdown below the key area resistance at 61.93. Now, you may notice, by the way, guys, that some of these uh, levels are adjusted each week. And the reason for that is to take into account the most recent price action because the most recent price action is the most important. So you can't just keep your support and resistance level static for. Uh, you know, for years and years, you have to adjust them to the latest pricing. So just in case you were wondering that some of these are adjusted, that's the reason why we do this each week. But going into this week, we're sitting down below the key area of broken support at 61.93. So very simply put, we're just looking for some corrections in oil and a pullback somewhere in this area. Preferably the perfect setup would be a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at 61.93. And if we get this kind of price action, we get a correction somewhere in this area. We're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the first target next key area supports the downside at 57.25 and if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking down towards the second target and next key area support at the downside at the 55.88 Next, we have euro dollar. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback in the euro dollar, and we did in fact get a pullback. And we actually broke down below this key area of support here at the 1.23062. And we start the week below this key area of support, the 1.23062, and we're kind of accumulating underneath. So, going into this week, very simply put, all we're looking for is a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance. And if we get this kind of price action, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 1. 1.20890. Now, only if we get a break back above the 1.23062 key area of resistance and it starts to test the support, we'll be looking at changing our bias on this. But as we start the week below support, we're looking to the next key area of support to the downside. Next, we have pound dollar. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback and a test of the 1.4007 area of support for looking for a move to the upside but instead of testing the support you can see we actually broke through this key area of support and we came back and tested as resistance and we started to decline to the downside now the next key area of support to the downside sits at the 1.3722 the slight problem we have with the pound dollar at the moment is we're already coming fairly close to it so what we'd like to see going into next week is a correction take place preferably another retest of broken support turning resistance in this area because this would give us the best risk to reward ratio and if we get a pullback somewhere in this area, preferably a retest of resistance, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns, and we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 1.3722. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 1.3624.
Next, we have US dollar yen. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback into the key area of broken support, turning resistance to the 110.271. And we were looking for shorts down towards the target of the 108.46, which is about here. You can see it just came down and tagged the target uh, before the week closed last week. Going into this week, we are still looking for further declines in the US dollar yen. We are still in a bear market. However, if we do get some strength in the US dollar index, we'd be looking for a correction to take place somewhere in this area first, preferably a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance again in this area. Any correction into this area is going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns, especially if we get a retest of resistance. And we're going to be looking this time for shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the first target at the 107.391. And if we get a break through here, we do have a secondary target in the next key area of support to the downside is at the 106.871. Next, we have the Aussie dollar. Now, last week we did have a sell off in the Aussie dollar and we're currently still in a downtrend and we are expecting further declines in the Aussie dollar. What we'd like to see going into next week is a correction and a pullback and a retest. You can see it already happened once over here of broken support turning resistance. If we get a pullback somewhere in this area, especially if we get a retest of broken support turning resistance at 0.79042, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And of course, we may not come all the way up here. We may just get a pullback somewhere in this area, but preferably we'd like to see another retest of resistance to provide a great place to start to look for shorts down towards the first target and the next key area of support to the downside at 0.77330. And if we can get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking for the next key area target to the downside at the 0.76341. Next, we have New Zealand dollar. Now, last week, we were looking for further declines to the downside. We did, in fact, come down and take out the target set from last week at the 0 0.71879. Now, very simply put, going into this week, as long as we stay below the key area of broken support turning resistance at the 0 0.72860, all we're simply looking for is a pullback and a retest of this area as resistance. And we're going to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside in the next target at the 0 0.71343. Now, for those of you who like your channeling and your trend lines, you can see we are also coming into a trend line. And we also have what's known as a bear flag, which is continuation pattern to the downside. So we are expecting further declines in the New Zealand dollar going into next week. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, last week, we started the week sitting at the key area of support down here at the 0.92698. And we were looking for a pullback and a retest of resistance, a broken support over here, turning resistance at the 0.94477. You can see we did get that pullback and a test of resistance. And this was an area we were going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. You can see we actually sold off from this key area of resistance. So going into next week, as long as we stay below the key area resistance and this holds as resistance at 0 0.94477, we're going to be looking for a pullback, possibly a retest of this resistance area over here. But any pullback into this area, and we're going to be looking to initiate shorts if we see the right kind of bearish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at shorting this down towards the bottom here, this key area of support at the 0 0.92698 with the risk of going into a bit of a range. But if we can get a break through the target down here at the first target and then this key area of support, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support and target two to the downside at the 0 0.91641. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week, we had a really strong move into the target we had set last week at the 1.25300, somewhere in this area. And we continued up and we actually broke through the target and we ended the week with this big kind of pin bar, as you can see. Uh, suggesting some sellers coming in at least for profit taking. Now going into this week, very simply put, we're looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.24608. If we get a pullback in this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside and the target which sits at 1.27726. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week we did continue and we actually took out both targets to the downside in gold. And the second target we had to the downside was at the 1309.42, which is about here. Uh, and you should see this does happen fairly often, comes down, hits the target and you get this kind of bounce. You get this profit taking coming in uh, as the targets hit and as limit orders are taken out. Now, going into this week, very simply put, we are looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at the 1325.89. And if we get a pullback and a test of broken support turning resistance in this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. 
and we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 1299.36 and ultimately if we can get a break through this key area of support we're going to be looking down towards target two and the next key area of support to the downside at the 1277.75. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, please let me know if you enjoyed this video by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis and for those of you who are already subscribed to the channel. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. I hope you have a very profitable week next week. The only thing left for me to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.